Welcome back to the Munchables. We're on World 7 of post-game. Playing through Mirror Mode, the time trials, on Mount Brim, starting at the foothills. This, if memory serves, was a fairly straightforward area where all we had to do was get to the end. I'm sure there are barriers along the way, though. So I'll probably have to do some eating along the way. But for the most part, as long as we're moving forward, I think we'll be fine. I keep forgetting that this is mirror mode. I move so unbelievably fast. Is it worth my time to try to break this guy apart? I feel like if it weren't a kind of awkward to control... I don't know if it's the ice, or just because I'm small. Okay, these are not bombs. Goal is to go high. So these popcorn guys I can just break apart. Don't have to worry about that. Out of the way, I'm trying to eat a friend. What about you? No. I mean close, though. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Is there anything up here? Is there a reason for me to go up here? Oh, 36. I'm pretty sure I can break you apart and just immediately eat you. What do I gotta do to get more traction on this ice? Because I'm feeling like... I don't remember it being like this. Okay, I'm not gonna- well, maybe. Can I break you apart and just immediately eat you? Not even close. Don't remember which way is forward, it is the other way. And just go all the way. Let's go. Would be nice if I could, like, spin to try to break them apart. Like, while I'm vacuuming. Get in the door. Okay, sorry, buddy. I'm just gonna move along. I'm trying to remember where the end was. I'm 
I'm gonna feel bad if that's the end right there, because I think it was in the fire side. Okay, let's just head over this way. That wasn't it. God dang it! Oh my goodness, you can't tell when that guy's attacking. Like, it's that slow motion spin that does not look even remotely like an attack. And I hit his back somehow. All right, still not so bad. I think I remember getting frustrated at that watermelon guy last time. <laughs> A red and white hat. Fitting, I suppose, given where we are. Oh, what is this hat? What is this hat? This is something. This is a, some this is some Japanese something. Okay, stage 2 should be relatively easy because honestly, it's kind of a speed run just all on its own. I can't see. I was gearing up to, like, ram into that guy. Get him. Get out of here. That lava's coming. You know what? You can just burn. I'm kind of scared I'm going to fall off the edge. Like, I should test if there are, in or, like, invisible walls or something. So I think... I had to go in. Or no, maybe I didn't. Maybe that was just for, like, an eight point or something. There's like a boss you gotta fight at some point. I thought it was in that place, but I guess not. Oh, there he is. Yeah, sure is a boss. Actually, do I even need to beat him? Yo, oh, yeah, I do.
Easy. I think we did pretty well that time around. Okay, I was gonna say, I'm gonna be surprised if we didn't get an S rank. Having like a minute and a half left on a four minute timer. Drilling down. Drilling down would be a bad idea. Well, drill wants to go up too, so I guess we're drilling up. To the heavens, if you will. Okay, Fried Ricer is next, so... I don't remember this guy being too big a deal once I figured him out. So you want to bonk him. You want to bonk him to tick him off. You need to knock him into the... Okay, let's just eat a whole bunch. I can finally hit him. But now there's food, like, everywhere. Okay, that should be close enough to get him to wobble. It's not, really? He's wobbling that. He does like the suction thing if you don't, if you just kind of leave him to his own devices, but as soon as you bonk him, he tries to. That's something I've learned about a lot of the bosses in this game, is just bonk him. Like, you kind of wait for the opening, wait for him to do the thing so you can hit him. But no, just bonk him, like right in the middle of everything. That'll usually tick him off and get them to immediately do the attack that leaves them open afterwards. There's the crown. That is a fancy crown, too. And that leaves us with, yeah, only the last three from World 8. The mark on the right is just to remove, which is always there. This one, I do not know what is. If I had to guess, since this one is kind of an obscure, complete Tabimon encyclopedia, I don't think this one is just going to be something basic, like complete all the time trials. They're all give already giving you rewards for those. If I had to guess, this one is going to be all S ranks, which I'm not doing. So I'll get everything else. We at least got the um, full Tabimon Encyclopedia, and with any luck, I'll get the rest of these from World 8 and call it there. And this one will just be Lost to the Ages. There, if anybody really wants to see it, I think there is an all S-Ranks long play of this game on YouTube. 
that will or that would show off what that was then. Anyway, until next time, everyone, we're gonna bring this thing home. Hopefully. <laughs>